So I have got a massive Hey Little Magpie haul. I recently bought three grab boxes. They were $24.99 each and it was free postage if you spent £50 or more. Um, I was going to get two for myself but obviously that would come below the £50 free postage thing. So I asked my mum if she wanted to buy one and then obviously it'd be free postage and she'd get a bundle as well. Um, and so she said yes so I got three. When they arrived, they arrived like three boxes mashed into one if that makes sense so this one box that it all came in had three grab boxes in it but it was all mixed up like all the stuff was mixed up <laughs> so me and my mum just kind of split it all out um the papers were in three separate bags so we just kind of put them in piles and then shared out the rest so today i'm going to be showing you my two grab boxes but all mixed together <laughs> because there is so many papers i am just going to kind of flick through them at the end and put a bit of music over it because i feel like that's the easiest way to show them all to you because there is a lot there <laughs> but in this box is kind of the things that were in the grab boxes um so stickers stamps all of them kind of fun things those are the things that i'm going to show you first and kind of talk through them um, I'm going to try and get through them quickly because I don't want this video to be too long. So yeah, I'm just going to get started. So in here, I did not choose any of these things. They were all a surprise to me. So there's things I absolutely love, but there's also things which I'm not too sure on and not sure whether I'll actually use them or not. So first of all, there are these Dear Lizzie stamps. And in this pack, you just get a heart stamp and it has kind of like a water splatter on it. And then there's this stamp, which has a load of chevrons on. I think out of both of them, I'm probably more likely to use this one. Next, there is some buttons. These are the types of things which I'll probably find it harder to use just because I'm not used to using buttons on any of my projects and I'm not overly keen on the pattern. There is then this little calendar card um, which is actually out of date I realised. Um, so I can't use it for anything kind of recently unless I cover them up but I could use it to document previous events. There's then some Heidi Swap frames um, and you get four in this pack so there's two on the back and then obviously two on the front. I then got these which again not too keen on these. I think the only way I'd probably use these is if I was to break up each separate gem. But yeah I don't really use kind of frames or shaped gems. I just like to use them separately. Next there is some stickers which I will definitely find a use for these. You get five on the sheet which I probably wouldn't have picked this up to buy it myself um, just because there isn't really that many on it but that's why I like these grab boxes because there's things in here that I wouldn't usually buy um, so I would never have the chance to use them. There is then some more buttons which again I'm probably not likely to use. Next there is some little cork stars which are from Studio Calico, I think, which I will definitely, definitely use. These I've actually had before in a Hey Little Magpie grab box. They are little mini envelopes, like mini, mini envelopes, um, and you get three different sizes. There's then some little tabs from Amy Tangerine. So you get 16 in a pack and there's four of each design. So there's this one with a little feather on, there's then this one with a camera on it. This one has a little man cut out on it and then this yellow one has a little heart. There's then this little packet of things, kind of like a mini grab bag. Um, and in here there's this little sticker sheet with banners on which has some phrases on them. There's then these which are little wooden banners with hello on them. There's then a couple of these which I think they're called cabochons or cabochon cabs. I don't know. <laughs> I know how to spell it, I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> they are flat on the back so they could be stuck to things. There's then a little range of, I don't know what these are, they're kind of like journaling cards but they're not the usual shape of journaling cards. So there's this one which has memories on it and it's got a little tab at the top which kind of matches up with the one behind it. And the one behind it says, makes me happy. Then there is a couple which are like this, which have two little nooks out of the bottom of them. This one's blank and then the other one says notes. And then this one, again, it's got a tab, but it doesn't kind of match up with the other ones. Um, it's a lot bigger than the other ones. So yeah, that one just has zigzags on the bottom. And then there's this card, which obviously has some space to write on it. So this one's more the size of the normal journaling cards. There's then this little pack of chalkboard tags. Um, I've never had any of these before, I'm not sure what I'll use them for. There's then this pack of stickers by October Afternoon and they are Halloween themed. So these stickers have been made so you can make them into little cocktail flags. I probably won't use them for that, I am more likely to use them in my smash books or my journals. So this is another thing that I'm probably unlikely to use. I'll probably end up giving this away or putting it in a rack or something. I'm not keen on these types of stamps and this size stamp as well I just don't work well 
well with. Next there is some sticky notes which I absolutely love these. There's enough space to write something on them um, but they're not massive so I can use these easily in my journals to kind of highlight something throughout the day. There's then a box of die cuts. I really love die cuts. I'm obsessed with them recently. So yeah I was pretty chuffed to get a little box of them. There's then some more stars but these ones are wood veneer um, and you get 28 in that pack. Next set is these, which I'm not sure how I'm going to use these. They're little bingo cards and they've obviously got numbers on them. But yeah, they're really cute and I love the way they look. There's then some Heidi Swap stickers um, and you get six in a pack and these are kind of the label style. There is then some more die cuts and these are letters. Um, you get 37 in a pack. They're made out of plastic and they're kind of translucent. I then got some little notebooks. There is a craft one with blank pages. There's a black one with grid pages and there's a white one with line pages. I feel like these would be great to use for mini projects. Next I got some clips. There is 12 in this pack and there is two of each design. Again, not really sure what I'd use these for. I feel like I could use them in my planners because they're not too bulky. I like this one and I like this one. Um, but the others I'm not really too keen on. I think what I'd probably do is split it up and keep the ones that I like and put the others in a rack or something. There's then this which is adhesive cork and it's kind of got three different designs on it. Um, so they all split up like this. I feel like the design on them isn't great, like it's not really that clear. It shows them on the back as the design's being really bold and clear. You can't really read what that says from a glance, but I feel like I could easily cover it up with something though. There's then some kind of celebration stickers, and there's quite a few on this sheet. There's loads of different styles. Um, there's obviously birthday style ones and then just general thank yous and congratulations and stuff. Next I got this which is covered in dog hair. <laughs> So next I got this which is an alphabet set and in this set you get 428 stickers which is a lot a lot of stickers. You basically get a few letters on each sheet but there's obviously more than one of that letter on there. Um, they're all in different colours. I really love the style. I know that I will definitely get a lot of use out of these. Lastly in this box is these which are some fabric tags. They're fabric on this side but they're kind of stuck onto card so they'd be really easy to glue down and they also stay straight rather than being really floppy so yeah you get five in that pack so I'm now going to go through the pile of papers but before I do there's a few things that came in those paper packs so there was these strips of bunting there was this pack of chipboard stickers which this is the first side and then underneath there's these ones um, I then got these which they're kind of book themed a lot of this book belongs to so they can be stuck in books yeah I don't know what I'm going to use them for but I'm sure I'll find something and then there was this alphabet sheet which is a 12 by 12 sheet and it's just got loads of different styles of the alphabet on it so there's that one at the top there's these ones and then there's some smaller ones in the middle so yeah now I'm going to go through this whole wadge of paper
Okay, so that is everything that I got in the two grab boxes that I bought. As always, I will leave links in the description. And if there are still grab boxes available on their website, then I'll leave a direct link to the grab boxes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions, of course, in the comments, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.